Here it is in the main build from the Super Speedster. This is uh, quite a good model. I, I really do like this. Uh, it's got some really nice details on it. I really enjoy the lines that go all the way across uh, the top of it there, starting from the front going all the way to the back. And it's got some good uh, opening features as well. So while we're looking at the side here, let's talk about this. I mean, I, I like the doors on this, the, the, the way they just angle out just a little bit. There's nice, smooth motion on there. Maybe they don't open uh, as much as they could do uh, but yeah pretty pretty nice motion on the doors uh, the thing I don't like about this side though is the wing mirrors uh, they they they're meant to be up at an angle like this but they jut out awkwardly no matter how you put them really they just don't look right so let's see about getting a minifigure in this car then um, just open the door up. let's see if we can slot this in uh, through the side um, let's have a look no no, we can't get can't get a minifigure in there. Probably won't get it in the top yet. So from where the seat is, it's too too high. Uh, if we take the legs off, just to uh, get him in there. No, it looks like without at least a little bit of modification, uh, you won't be able to get a minifigure in the driver's seat of this car, which is a big shame because this is quite. It's a nice size for for minifigures. Yeah, it might be a bit long, but the height is pretty cool for minifigures. But you don't get to, you can't put one in this one uh, without some uh, modifications it seems. So we'll move on to the front then. Uh, opening up here, this is not where the engine is, this is just the uh, open space. This is your your boot space where, where you can store stuff in. Nice big cavity in here, you could put quite a few items in there. Um, you know, maybe a briefcase, uh, <laughs> a laptop, stuff like that. You could fit quite a bit in there, it's a nice, nice, uh, nice open cavity. I enjoy the front bumper on this. Uh, it, from the from the top, it looks like it juts out awkwardly, but from the front, I like the way it all. Oh, let's clip that back in. Let's say uh, it all just uh, nicely sweeps together, and uh, I really do enjoy the front grille here. So we'll just look at the other side quickly enough. Pretty much the same design. Uh, nice opening door again. Uh, again, it doesn't come out as as far as it could do but it's on a good hinge that's in there nice nice hinge uh, in there so uh, yeah pretty cool you can easily take this top off it's only held on by a few studs so you get a nice open top canopy well let's look at the back then this is I think this is the, the best parts of the model and the back part you've got the uh, the quad exhaust here I do like this rear diffuser type thing that's coming up from the back uh, obviously the the lights and the brake lights and then you got this spoiler uh, this is a adjustable spoiler uh, in the instructions it says to be like that but you can adjust it uh, between some angles there uh, pretty cool but the absolute best part of this model is the engine um, just gonna have to uh, quickly get these in the right position <laughs> there we go um, yes all this is fantastic I really do like the mechanism of this as that is closed it actually uh, locks it a little bit so you have to put a little bit of force just to pull it open um, and then such a nice gliding mechanism to the top and again on the way down it nicely just slots in but let's get into this engine this is a v8 engine and it is pretty cool in here indeed um you can angle this but it is a nice chunky engine block uh it is coming it does come in four pieces it doesn't come out as one piece uh but it is cool to look at, and when you've got this closed, as you've seen before, you can see it. You can see the engine nicely through this window. Really cool model. This is this is a good model. Um, I actually think this is the probably the best of the three models uh, from looking at the pictures. I actually think this is a really good model. It is super fun um, to build up. It's 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 about eight or nine uh, mini builds that all just slot together. Uh, it's not too difficult. It doesn't take too much time to put together. Uh, it's got some really good um, details on there, and uh, the movable parts are cool and nice and nice and smooth. Not awkward at all, uh, especially the rear section. It just nicely comes out and stays there, and it doesn't flap. It, it's you know once it pulls out it's quite loose here but when it's locked into place it doesn't doesn't flap open or anything like that and uh, the wheels on it are 
pretty super smooth on the axles um so you can push it and it'll just drive thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next small smaller moment good day